bloodbath. Are you guys ready to start the battles tonight? Pretty good. Pretty good. One more time. We need all the energy you can. That's what they need. They're about to fucking battle up here. You ready for the battle tonight? Yeah! Bad. You feel it? No, 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 you're here, you're here. You got me right here. You guys feeling good? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Feeling great. Nick's already trying to fuck with me, but you the sides here. It's not gonna happen, pussy. All right? All right, guys. Before we battle, well, who's going first, by the way? I'm going first. Okay, Pat's gonna be going first. Before we battle, we do a roast on three. You guys with us? Yeah. Everybody! One, two, three! What's up, guys? How you doing? So, uh, Nick, I don't know if you know much about him. You probably don't. Uh, <laughs> Nick is actually, he was born in Minnesota. Minnesota is the land of a thousand lakes. Nick, do us all a favor. Go pick one of them and drown in it. Give it up for the lead singer of Panic at the Rehab, everybody. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Pat, you look like shit. Uh, Pat, Pat looks like Hitler if he never became a dictator, but still killed himself in a basement, you know? At least I fucked my sister at the Eagle's Nest, okay? That's... Bringing it back. And Nick is actually, because he's from Minnesota, you know, the, the NFL team uh, is the Vikings. Cool. Nick loves them. Huge fan. He loves the Vikings, famous for raping and pillaging. <laughs> and it turns out Vikings also did that sometimes as well, so... Wasn't just Nick. Pat, how do you look like a stepdad and a stepson at the same time? <laughs> and either way, the family jerks off at a Kmart. You know, it's, they're not even open anymore. We would, we're Trader Joe's people. We would never do that. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck this motherfucker. Uh, Nick's girlfriend is way more successful than him. Um, Thank you. That's true. I met her last weekend when I was paying her to have sex with me. It was pretty cool. It was nice. Just a couple levels up from Nick, though, for sure. You know what I mean? Sex work is still work, you know? Uh, Pat's really good at working with cars. Uh, and by that, I mean he can get his Kia started without the breathalyzer. So, uh, real mechanic. Uh, Nick started comedy in North Carolina from the South. Boo, we hate that, right? Um, <laughs> now, Nick, is, uh, Nick started in North Carolina, and I just want to say, Nick, fuck you and the horse that you rode in on <laughs> that you're also having sex with. I think that's... Uh, me and Pat are, are buds. Uh, actually, every time we do cocaine together, he yells at me about how cool communism is. <laughs> He's always like, share the wealth! And I'm like, share the bag of cocaine I bought. How about that? He's the cheapest piece of shit in the world. He's never <laughs> bought cocaine ever. 100% lie. <laughs> Nick's dad is from uh, England, which is, that's pretty not cool, but uh, I had no idea, I had no idea teeth was an inherited trait, but. Uh, <laughs> Nick, yeah, Nick, his dad's from England over there, they call pedophiles pedos. And in the United States, we call pedophiles uh, Nick looking in the mirror. That's <laughs> uh, Pat is a really talented musician. He's a, he's a rapper, actually. You can look Check him up on, on Spotify, Peebs yeah. the Prophet. Peebs the Prophet. Did pretty well in Eastern Europe. Yeah, so, no, uh, doing really well. Pushing some serious numbers. I think he's a lot like the one true prophet, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Because he's only gotten nailed three times, and he has 12 followers, so... Yeah, stop pretending like you guys got that joke. It made no sense at all. It was a shit. Fuck your Old Testament book. Uh, Nick is uncircumcised. Hell yeah. Raw. Uh-huh, yeah. 
Nick is uncircumcised, and uh, his parents actually gave him the choice of whether or not he wanted to be circumcised or not. And Nick was like, well, if a rabbi's not gonna bite it off, I'm good, I'll keep it, you know what I mean? Uh, Pat, Pat loves cocaine, absolutely loves cocaine. But his favorite white line is, black people actually love my music, so. Nice <laughs> joke. Wait, is that seven? That's six. That's six? You Which one did one I not more? do here? Let's see. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, Nick has a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Unfortunately, Cuba Gooding Jr. already got that part, so, uh... <laughs> He's retarded, so, uh, that's... Uh, Pat actually, uh, got fired from teaching this year. He was a teacher. He got fired for touching on evolution too much. Uh, not the scientific theory. Evolution was an underage black girl, so... Keep it going for these two animals, everybody! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh man, you guys, uh, you guys fucking hate each other. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, we should have road together. It's gonna be a long ride home. <laughs> that, that is smoking a, a lot of cigarettes in your car on the ride home. <laughs> Just as a fuck you. <laughs> One more time for them. Open it up. That's not easy to do. That was awesome. That was so funny. Uh, I want to start the judging off with Leah. Leah, what did you think about what happened up here? Well, first of all. You guys look like the only adults at a high school cake party. <laughs> but I thought that was that was a good battle. What a great start. Give it up for them for starting the show. I do think that Nick had the edge, uh, especially with the Jesus Christ joke, the white line joke. He had a lot of good stuff. Pat, you did great, but I think he had the edge on you, so I'm gonna go Nick. One for Nick, give it up for him. Come on. Yeah. That was fun. That was a fun little roast battle between two different kinds of drug dealers, you know? <laughs> Adderall and roofies. That was... <laughs> he kept mentioning Coke like he was trying to drum up business. <laughs> He's like, I really love Coke. Anyone love Coke? Anyone try? <laughs> All right, you're going to be selling merch after the show. <laughs> you can find them, both of them smoking in the alley. <laughs> oh, fucking what a great battle, dude. I don't like the way you're sitting right now, Pat. Uh... <laughs> It's just a little too common. But here's at seven, man, okay? You gotta give me a break. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a fucking great battle, man. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for opening up. Uh, I think at the very end, Nick took it, so my vote's for Nick. Okay, two for Nick. Give it up for him. Yeah. Claire. Love it. What a fun battle, OMG. Um, but, I mean, this looks like bloated Ken and lesbian Barbie to me. <laughs> right now, it's in a theater near you. <laughs> I love the Trader Joe's rebuttal, honestly, Pat. I thought that was very nicely timed. And then, but Jesus joke, evolution. I love how you came back with the rabbi joke at that same time, religion against religion, right? We love competing. But overall, I do have to give it to Nick. Nick wins oh. it. Give it up for Nick. Oh, my goodness. I can tell the middle section likes Pat way more. All right, stop serving him drinks. Okay. <laughs> Kevin Kelly. Uh, I like Pat is so confident but delusional at the same time. You'd see him in the stands at like a high school sporting event. And he'd be like, I could score that point. They, they didn't do it, but I could do it. And then Nick would be like, hey, you're talking about my girlfriend out there. Knock it off. Uh, I really like this. I'm going with Pat. I thought Pat's callback's really good. I like Pat a lot. Yes, contested Pat gets a vote. Yes. Fuck oh, that. I actually won. Pity point. Pity point. The first three. Stop point. the steal! Stop the steal! <laughs> Nick paid the first three people in ketamine to vote against me, so... <laughs> okay. Kevin's used to starting rallies with that beard and that haircut. <laughs> Stephanie? I liked it. You guys did a really good job. I like the both of you. Pat, you look like someone I would fuck for free cocaine. <laughs> I don't even fucking do drugs, by the way, okay? Yeah. I don't even, I've never, okay. I've never done drugs right after this battle, ever in my life. And I've never fucked someone for free cocaine. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'm sure, okay. Uh, uh, 
free ketamine, right? Because you're like a horse girl. Oh. Yo, Nick, that was fucked up. You crossed the line, Nick. That was fucked up. It's getting real WWE up. Yeah, it was kind of fucked up. I was going to vote for you, Nick, but uh, <laughs> you look, I was going to say you look like the guy that I would pretend like I was going to fuck for free cocaine. So. <laughs> uh, but I, I was going to give the vote to Nick, so good job, Nick. Okay, Nick, really once you give it up for these two animals, man. Great job. Thank you for doing that. Great job. Good job, buddy. Woo! The crowd drew the line at horse girl material. They didn't like it. <laughs> She wants for free drugs, all right, this horse girl. Oh, God, man. You are kinky, McHenry. I had no idea. That's what you were into. Man, you guys are feeling fucking liquored up and good, right? You feeling good? Let's keep the battles going to our favorites, the Queenie Bitch and Kaylee Horton! Yeah. All right, who's going first? Queenie. I know. I'll go first. Queenie's going first. Seven jokes each. You guys ready? One, two, three! Okay, that's extra. Um, I don't know. I know this is a roast, so I'm supposed to be mean, but it's really hard to roast Kaylee because I admire her so much. You know, uh, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup, which I think is very brave. Uh, cause I thought you were only supposed to do that when you had natural beauty. Oh. Whatever you say, Tyra Skanks. Oh. I, uh, you guys don't know this, but Queenie does a lot of things. Queenie's a comedian, and she's a singer, and she's a makeup artist. Yeah, the only thing bigger than her unrealistic dreams is the size of her forehead. Oh. It's just my hairline, fuck off. No, uh, Kaylee tells a lot of jokes about molesting children. Uh, just a fun thing for you to know about her. Um, but here's the thing, she doesn't actually molest the children. The only people who feel molested after her set is the audience, because they only consented to see a comedy show. I, God, you know, I, I, Queenie's been talking about my looks a little bit. I don't understand Queenie's look, okay? Because the makeup always looks like she's going to the Oscars, and the outfit looks like she's going to a truck stop to blow a guy named Oscar. I believe in truth and advertising. I don't know how that was for me. America's next top bottom over here. Also, his name was Ricardo. Get it right. <laughs> Kaylee has the hairstyle of the children she likes to molest. Um, so it's, cool? Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, here's the thing, though. I, I get it, because, you know, dress for the job you're gonna be arrested for. Artist, which you guys could probably not yeah, tell Yeah, we heard from that the this. first time. Um, <laughs> yeah, she just she spends a lot too much time, I would argue. The only thing she spends more time on than doing her makeup is convincing her family she's still going to heaven. I have never lied about that. <laughs> I will be in hell wearing red. <laughs> the day I go there is the day Satan retires. That is my fucking house. Bye. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing, Kaylee dresses like she tried drugs once and they quit her, right? Like she walked in, she's just like, I'm gonna do coke so I'm cool. Drugs are like, we're not magic, honey, okay? This isn't an invisibility cloak, we can still see you. right now. Like, I don't understand. You have to I, uh, turn the pound somehow. <laughs> Queenie has two cats, and I believe the only reason she does so is because it's the closest she'll ever come to having an actual pussy. <laughs> I did it once and I wasn't a fan, so yeah. Yeah. This is, this is my consolation. Amy Adams Apple, everybody. Yeah. Wow, I know you, you slaved over that one, didn't you? Um, 
Look, here's the thing. Kaylee already talked about it, and I know I keep talking about Kaylee's appearance, which I know isn't necessarily like woke of me, right? But here's the thing. I'm trying to do her a favor because she's a comic, so like something about her should be funny, right? I'm just like, because here's the thing. Kaylee bombs so much, she's on an FBI watch list, right? Like, God forbid she goes to Boston. We need to talk about my looks all she wants, but that's funny coming from someone who looks like a Dr. Seuss character if his fetish was brown migrant children. Thing two. Um, Kaylee's aging weird. Because uh, here's the thing, most things about her reads woman, but smile for the audience real quick. She still has her fucking baby teeth. It's like she lost them and went to the orthodontist and said, put him back in. That's weird. Queenie, uh, Queenie is a sommelier, which a lot of people know. What a lot of people don't know is that she's also a cum sommelier. Yeah, she can taste any dude's cum and immediately tell if he's HIV positive. I can test for the other ones too, so. See me at the bar later if you have any questions. You don't need to go to the clinic. I'm faster and cheaper, I'll tell you that. Last joke. Kaylee has a light mustache, um, which isn't brave. Uh, it's just the only way she could get dudes in Pittsburgh to fuck her. Somehow I'm more of a man and woman than you'll ever be. That's true. That's just true. Listen, I'm not do gender jokes. I'm not gonna do jokes about her pronouns because that's hack. But I do think that's what she should do to her penis. Oh my god. Do not talk about the weenie bitch like that. Give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. Great job. Holy shit. When, uh, when Queenie first did the show, she was like, uh, I'm go I go by the Queenie bitch. And I was like, why? And then I saw her do that, and I was like, oh, I get it. That's... <laughs> Give it up for them one more time, everybody. Keep going. Wow, great fucking battle. Oh, man. Bad work. Uh, this was a fun battle between country and cunt. That was... <laughs> I, I don't know who won that battle. At one point, I thought... <laughs> the crowd knows, apparently. <laughs> I mean, you both had fucking great comebacks. You both had great jokes. I, uh, two people just yelled Queenie, so I'm gonna say Queenie for my vote. That was Based on those two votes, Queenie gets a vote. That was a fucking amazing battle. The audience voted for that one, Claire Parlett. Oh, hey, yes, give it up for, uh, Draggy Long Legs. Uh, and the house fly that I caught in my bathroom last night. <laughs> <laughs> Love bugs. Uh, this was so hard. Honestly, like, Kaylee, I feel like you had the lead. Queenie, I feel like you came back with those, like, rebuttals in a really authentic way. That was, like, your timing was great. Um, but I feel like Kaylee came back at the end, so I'm going to give it to Kaylee. Okay, yeah. Kaylee gets a vote. Well, Queenie, well, Kaylee. Kevin. Man, how about that? Wasn't that something else? Jesus. It was, like, it, was like, it was like two people in a Lady Gaga concert just fucking going at it. <laughs> this song's about me. No, this song's about me. Thank you, Kaylee, for putting on your punk outfit tonight. Yeah, you really pushed the levels there. And then Queenie always trying harder than necessary, all right? This is, this is McHenry. They aren't going to appreciate the shoes. Um, <laughs> they are not going to appreciate it. They do. You, you, brought, you brought them more Boys Town and Halstead than they deserve. Yeah, there's a bigger lift on a boat outside than those fucking things right now. Honestly, this was really, really hard. This is really, I'm gonna go with Queenie. I'm gonna go with Queenie. This is really Two hard. for Queenie, one for Kaylee. Seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for Queenie mainly because I know she will stab me with one of those heels. Those are, I have no choice. Um, but uh, when you said drugs quit her, I, I, you, you won my vote. So, Queenie all the way. Okay. Queenie with three votes, she wins it, give it up for her. Come on, case you won the battle. Fucking awesome. Yes. I do want final thoughts though from Leah K. J. Uh, what a great battle. Give it up for these two. It's not every day you see a giraffe battle an anemic koala bear. 
But I mean, I know Queenie won. I'm gonna give my joke, my vote to Kaylee because she came through in the end. I feel like he really yeah. nailed it. So great job, both of you. One more time for these two, everybody. Amazing. Aw, that's adorable. Good job. Have a good one, guys. Hell yeah, get the fuck out of here. You guys feeling good? All right, our next two battlers coming up to the stage, they are again favorites on our show. They're pieces of shit in their personal lives, which makes them perfect for this stage right here, right now. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Give it up for the very funny Bob Keen and Jay Acevedo! What up, Jason? Hell yeah, who's going first? Uh, I'm going first. Bob is gonna be going first. It's seven jokes each. Are you guys with me? Three, two, one! What the fuck? Jason, your Jason, your mom's squirting. Uh, <laughs> Jason, Jason, you do not look good. Uh, you look like if Gabriel, uh, if Gabriel and Glacius uh, started going by sweaty instead of fluffy. Uh, the only thing fluffy is the hair on your ass. Look. <laughs> When I met Bob, I couldn't tell if he read Harry Potter, grew up at clan meetings, or both, which is why his name on my phone is Grand Wizard. <laughs> but mostly because he gave his girlfriend Hogwarts. I just gave her a little Snape Snape. Ah. Uh, uh, he reminded me a lot of the kid from Modern Family if he gave creepy back rubs. <laughs> well, you look like you complain for foreplay. Uh, that's a comeback, not a roast. Here's roast number two. Bob gives off, I got molested by my priest while my uncle waited for his turn vibes. He also constantly talks about the sex he's having so people can stop thinking he's a gay virgin. This just, this whole thing just feels like summer camp to me. Like it's warm out, I'm with my friends, I'm roasting a marshmallow. <laughs> Bob sits down to pee. Uh, I want to sit to down after you go upstairs. I want to be sincere for a second. We've been doing comedy for almost about the same time. Lots of similarities. For example, I've performed in five countries in two languages, while Bob has performed in uh, or arrested in five different counties in Illinois, <laughs> while slurring his speech in English. They I call it. I'm not done, bitch. I have performed states and lots of stages while Bob has been through many states and stages of depression and denial and I've opened for a lot of cool people the only person you opened for was your girlfriend and that was the door on a Saturday night at the Lincoln Lodge in Chicago and also I have a car because I do comedy well and you have a public transit pass I drove here but I don't own the car Look. <laughs> hurts ladies and gentlemen what a perfect commercial <laughs> Look guys, uh, Jason's Colombian, uh, so he's not actually fat. He just has a 300 pound condom of cocaine in his ass. Nice. Uh, I am Colombian, so I appreciate him doing the, the research. I'm used to dark roasts. I'm also Colombian, and Bob, you owe me $700, $700. My product is top white shelf, like top shelf white, unlike your girlfriend. Bob's girlfriend is Jewish, which means before he met her, women were passing over on him until he found one that celebrated Passover. Look, I am, all right. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys have heard of Dora the Explorer, right? That show? If you watch closely, he's actually in the next season of it. He, he plays her uncle, Ernesto the Molesto. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I feel like the only reason Bob would ever build the wall is because he's into glory holes. <laughs> Make sure to tip American, bitch. How many got? How many we got? That was five. Okay. It wasn't, but let's go. Uh, <laughs> listen, you are perfectly round and you're constantly eating. Yep. You're like Pac-Man if he was being chased by immigration. <laughs> 
You also look like you put a lot of balls in your mouth. Uh, let's, I want to compliment him. I want to compliment him. Bob, speaking of food, Bob knows how to cook. He makes really good Indian food. With a face that screams butter boy, you best believe he can throw down some butter chicken. I can't believe it's not butter. More like I can't believe he hasn't raped a minor yet. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'm having a hard time concentrating with that shirt. You look, you look like, um, <laughs> you look like Hawaii 500 pounds. <laughs> You look like you call mashed potatoes Irish guacamole. <laughs> also, Bob Keane is gonna end up in a retirement frat home. He also looks like he'd bring free, uh, Fig Newtons to a frat party and call them Fag Newtons because he's edgy. All right, give it up for them, everybody. Keep it going. Oh my God. Oh man, Bob. That was, Bob, that was a great roast, Jason. That was a great book report. That was so cool. <laughs> Whew, man, whatever Wikipedia you were reading that whole time, I want to take a gander after the show. Claire, first of okay, all. Okay, uh, Jason, you remind me of an uncle who'd show me, like, what salsa is, you know? Uh, Bob, you remind me of an uncle who'd show me what a chode is. <laughs> Um, I gotta say, I think Bob was a little bit more uh, concise and consistent, and I really liked that marshmallow joke. So I'm giving it to Bob King. Bob King gets a vote. Give it up for him. A little more. This is all he has, everybody. This is it. He doesn't have a trick to kill. Okay, Kevin. Uh, give it up for the, the creepiest dude to ever wear a tracksuit of all fucking time. <laughs> And uh, Moana comes to life right over there. Here we go, the live version. There we go. Uh, uh, I, I, I really enjoyed Jason. I enjoyed uh, reading a paragraph from him every four minutes. Uh, but I enjoyed it, it was fun, but I thought Bob got you know, just the conciseness that, that Claire was talking about. I'm going with Bob. Okay, two for Bob, give it up for him. Yeah. <laughs> I truly have no idea what the fuck either of you said. It was like it was like the drunk at the bar somehow got in a fight with a coked up line cook. Like it didn't make any sense. I know, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, it was just which. Go ahead, pick your poison. I, I, I truly don't have an authentic vote for you, um, but I, I can't remember a thing Jason rambled off. So uh, it's gonna be Bob. I'm Bob wins the battle, everybody. Give it up for. Him. Nice, Leo. Well, uh, so well, Jason. I feel like you know. I also like your shirt. So you look like a weekend at Bernie's turned into a decade. <laughs> And Bob looks like he lives off settlement money from suing a Taco Bell. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to vote for Bob for uh -oh. his punchlines. We're just there. Unfortunately, Bob gets another vote. Give it up. <laughs> final, final thoughts from Matt Bamber. Uh, that was a fun battle. Bob looks like a proud boy, but Jason's dressed like one. That's. <laughs> All right, I love the skulls on your shirt. What are you celebrating? Day of the Deadbeat? That's... <laughs> oh, man. Bob looks like a Border Patrol agent. You look like the guy who would snitch on the rest of his party. <laughs> this is fun, dude. It's a fun battle between two different kinds of mechanics, you know? One charges a full price, the other one gives you a deal. <laughs> Once oh again, yeah, who took your switch? catalytic converter? Shit, that's my uncle's work. <laughs> I don't think it was a clean sweep, just be nice. I'm gonna give one vote for Jason. I thought he did good. I'll give it one vote to Jason. Jason gets a vote. One more time for these two animals. Give it up for him. Keep it going. Get out of here. Good job, guys. Oh, a hug? That's adorable. Give it up for <laughs> Kiss, kiss, That's amazing. Kiss, that's the kiss, kiss, kiss. kiss. <laughs> that's the Wait, most amount of steps you've gotten all day. That's amazing. Oh my God. You guys feeling good, huh? Yeah! Let me check in with the panel. How are you guys feeling? You guys feeling delicious, Kevin? Oh my god. How about this crowd at McHenry tonight? Yeah. Oh my god. They are, they are... I, I hope they you guys didn't take shit. the blue chew too early, all right? I hope you didn't take the blue chew too early. Some people all rock hard here with you. I thought it was gonna end. We were gonna run over to the bathroom at Buddy's. Just, you know, get frisky. 
was the plan. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Yeah. I, also, give it up, give it up for this absolutely fantastic venue. This is one of the most beautiful venues I think we've ever done the show. Give it up for the ceiling, everybody. Yeah. Give it up for the wall on the right and the left. Hey, How about uh, the railing, everybody? The railing's doing a lot of work here. It's amazing. Hey, Chris, what's going on with all the cameras? What's going on with that? What's up? What's going on with all the cameras? With all the cameras? Oh, yeah, we're filming this. Uh, if you want to watch this, or you got people that are jealous that you're here and they're not, we got a Patreon if you want to subscribe. Only $5. And this whole fucking $5. show is going to be available on Monday. Sorry, he's the promo guy. He's going to beat me after the show if I don't say that in the show. So it's an abusive relationship. What are you going to do? Five dollars. We have a Patreon. With, uh, we do full roast battles all over the road. We have yeah. uh, roast battles on there. And behind the scenes of this battle, we're going to do interviews with the people that you see battling tonight. Yeah. You can find it there. It's my job to plug shit. And there you we go. And you can find Matt Bamworth's uh, Minecraft YouTube channel also. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, Minecraft Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some diamonds, baby. You guys ready for another fucking battle, huh? These two are genuinely some of my favorites that have ever been on the show. They do it all the time, and they're some of the fucking best fan favorites that we've had in our recent uh, championship that we had back in March. Give it up for the amazing Matthew Mitchell and Vladimir Kitchen! Oh my goodness. We're back to pure whites, everybody. You're welcome, McHenry. Who's going first? I'm going first. Matthew's going first. Seven jokes each. Everybody, you're with me. One, two, three! Oh. Thank you. Oh. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Vladimir's from Russia. Relax. That was not the Chernobyl meltdown. Everything's okay, buddy. It's not a problem. It's kind of a big deal over there in Russia. There's actually a cocktail named after his girlfriend. Yeah. The Moscow Mule. <laughs> Okay, have you seen Matthew's craziest popped, eye, popped up eyes? It's insane, he looks like a son of Pennywise and Ronald McDonald. Like he will eat your kids, but only in a Happy Meal. Jeez, I'll tell you where I'm hiding my family, good lord. I, was, I, don't, I didn't understand any of that. If I'm being completely frank, I've never seen a pop punk Soviet before. It's crazy. Guy looks like a My Chemical Processing Plant. <laughs> Macy is from Montana, and I have nothing bad to say about it, this state since he moved out from there. Well, I've got some thoughts on Russia here, pal. I, uh, <laughs> if you don't mind my saying so. My big problem is the women are ugly. That's the big issue with Russia. Actually, the prettiest woman from Russia is Vladimir. So that's... <laughs> Matthew moved from Montana because he got tired of bisons harassing him in the mating season. <laughs> He's all high and mighty because he's in good shape, okay? That's what's going on. If my government made me wait in line for six hours to get a loaf of bread, I'd have a jawline too, okay? That's one thing I gotta say. Let's get to the chase. <laughs> Finally, the chase! Matthew looks like a certified sex offender. So I wasn't surprised when I learned he graduated from Catholic school. Wait, was that the joke or are you Joseph Stalin for the punchline? Oh, uh, that would suck. The difference between you and Stalin is that Stalin could kill. That's the big difference, I don't know. <laughs> Matthew is such a hipster that he moved from Montana because there were no vegan bison meat option. What is it with this guy in the bison? This is insane. This is nuts. This is, a, this is something. Uh, Vladimir last year dated 10 women in one year. It's pretty crazy. He thought it was just one woman, but then he opened it up and there's another woman inside, and then another woman. And then at the end there was a Cadbury egg. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Matthew looks like a proof that seven generations of cousin marriage <laughs> can occur even among capybaras. Okay, he said a word at the end there. It was a punchline. I'm sure it made sense. Last joke? I don't know. I, this reminds me of Rocky IV up here. This is nuts. Not, not, because, not because it's an American versus a Russian. No. Vladimir reminds me of Rocky because he's a retard with a funny voice who beats his meat all day. Okay. <laughs> Matthew looks like a guy whose only way to find clitoris <laughs> is to use lookup formula in Excel sheets. Keep it going for this freak show, everybody. Keep it going. Guys, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> in a very Russian move, Vladimir is wearing a No Lives Matter shirt, which is... <laughs> <laughs> it's like that pop punk kid that everyone was like, nobody gets me, but no one can actually get you. No one understands what you're saying. <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> Matthew, Matthew's complaining. Sorry, that was that past the bell. That was funny. That was past the bell. That was funny. You were like, oh, Russian women are fucking ugly. I was like, yeah, you're not going to the sites I'm going to online, sir. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't care if I can't understand what they're saying. I get the picture, okay? <laughs> All right. Kevin Callum, I want you to start this off. All right, uh, I want to give it up for Vladimir. His real opponent tonight was the English language. <laughs> but he had a valiant effort, he had a valiant effort. Uh, I did enjoy, he said, only way to find the clitoris. <laughs> it, was, it was absolutely wonderful, it was absolutely wonderful. Uh, but you know, Matthew, uh, you are proof positive that Russia will lose the war because you came in and you, you craned this fucking thing. I'm going with Matthew Mitchell. I'm going with Matthew, Matthew Mitchell. Matthew Mitchell gets a vote. Give it up. <laughs> Stephanie? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was so fun. Matt, Matt you know you're, you're one of my favorite people, uh, but you do look like a gummy bear melting in a hot car. You do. You are built. <laughs> You are like that, but your jokes, your jokes, uh, they, they're solid as always. I'm giving it to you, Matt Mitchell. Okay, Matt Mitchell gets two votes. Yes. Kit Leah. Well, I just want to say, like, Vlad, at least you can leave here knowing you're way hotter than him. Uh, <laughs> Matt looks like the spokesman for generic paper towels. <laughs> but unfortunately, I feel like he won this pretty clearly. Give it up for Matt. Okay, Matthew, three votes, wins the battle, give it up for him. Yes. Nice, Man, nice. I'm glad we finally find out where the Wagner group retreated to. This is... <laughs> four of you are staying up to date. <laughs> that was a fucking great battle. Uh, Masu, I thought you did a great job. I, uh, I'm gonna give it to Vladimir just because he's fucking <laughs> roasting his third or fourth language. Fucking great job to him, and that was fucking great. Okay, Vladimir gets great. the vote. He's a fucking beast. That's hard to do. That's fucking hard to do, man. That's hard to do. Hilarious. Leah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Claire. <laughs> Call me whatever you the want. The other girl. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same. We're all the same. Miss Redheaded. Miss Frizzle from Matt Bamworth's joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know this is a roast battle, but uh, Matthew, I gotta say, I think you're really like mean tonight. When you said, when you said, like, oh, you said a word at the end of that, that was really fucked up, okay? I don't think we should talk to each other like that, because you know what, you sound like that infomercial at midnight that just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, I kinda like that bit there. Holy <laughs> smokes. <laughs> don't come at me! <laughs> Guys, he's built like a refrigerator. She knows a thing or two about refrigerators. You've seen her ass. Okay, folks. Oh! Oh! McHenry, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. He tries to come for the woman. He's just like, oh! Oh! Just trying to keep me here. You got it! Oh! Do it! Oh! But he can't okay. find the clitoris! <laughs> These are like two bears fighting over the same piece of salmon. It's insane. Sure. That's okay. Wait, do you have anything else to say? No, no, thank you very much. Okay, cool. I thought that was fun. Okay, that was cool. I uh, love that little back and forth dance.
audience. Um, <laughs> Matthew. Great job. Hey, thank you. Matthew Mitchell wins the rose. One more time though for fucking Vladimir, man. Thank you so much for doing the show. And the rest. Yes. Get over it. There you go. Fuck yeah. Whew. Man, this has been an action-packed evening. Wouldn't you agree? Pretty cool, right? Lucky for you, it's not over. We got a headlining battle. Are you guys fucking ready for your headliners this evening? Yes. These two have done the show uh, more than most people have done the show. They're two of my fucking favorites, um, and this is uh, this is a treat. I'm excited to see it. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable. They get fucking dark. Are you guys cool with that? I know it. Battle, 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 battle. Everybody, give it up for Katie Kincaid and Evelyn Troutman. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Have you decided? Is gonna be going first. I will. Katie is going first. Seven jokes each for the last time tonight. Everybody, one, two, three. All right, guys. Uh, I wanted to first off, I want to thank Evelyn for taking off her shift at Spirit Halloween to be here tonight. Yeah. Uh, she's a. Uh, she's not a cashier. She's actually just one of the skeletons that hang in the display case. Uh. Katie is from Indiana and is bisexual, which is why she looks like she teaches queer animal husbandry. <laughs> but she actually thinks that being bisexual means that you've had sex twice. <laughs> Yeah. I've had sex two times, uh, one with her mom and the other with her dad. Actually, I was gonna say it was with your mom and your dad, it's <laughs> Indiana. Uh, good one, Avril Stringbean. Uh, Ellen looks like if you finger her too hard, she'll crack a rib. I mean, to, to be fair, if you taste her menstrual blood, you can tell she's deficient in iron. Uh, whenever Katie has sex with another woman, she finishes by saying, Now that's progressive. <laughs> vape talks. <laughs> so this is actually a true story. Before our battle, Evelyn and I had a phone call to get to know each other a little bit more, but Evelyn had to push the call back because she had shit her pants. <laughs> Which I love, because I think it's a great metaphor that no matter what, between the both of us, she will always be number two. <laughs> uh, Katie is actually going to be the maid of honor at her brother's wedding. Yeah, which, which is cool. Like, I didn't know you could be the maid of honor if you're also the bride. You look like you open mouth kiss your father. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so, Evelyn's talking about how I'm queer. Evelyn's actually queer too, but she will only go down on a woman if her clit is made of Zoloft. And I will only scissor if there are actual blades involved. Uh, I need metal near my labia. Um, uh, yeah, Katie Kin AIDS, everyone. Um, it's weird. I never thought that by the time if I ever actually met the barefoot Contessa, she would be in the midst of her Ozempic journey. <laughs> oh, shut up, not so hot topic. Come on, you know? <laughs> Oh man, it's like, uh, like I said earlier, we're both queer, both queer women up here. And like Evelyn said, I'm bisexual, which means I'm attracted to both men and women. And Evelyn is pansexual, which means that she's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll help you with your
with your act. You can rename it just Deadpan Sexual and you can go that well. <laughs> yes, I have the most morally superior sexuality. Um, <laughs> Uh, Katie's parents owned a karate studio when she was a kid, but she never got past yellow belt. She just was only really ever into it when she could wear a completely white robe and assault minorities. <laughs> it, it's funny because Ellen has actually been in a bunch of martial arts movies. She plays the board that they break in half. <laughs> It's a vital role. <laughs> um, so, uh, not a lot of people know this about Evelyn, but she actually used to be a rapper, and you can actually find her on SoundCloud under the name Dangerously Slim Shady. <laughs> I mean, it was better than her backup name, which was White Rhymes Matter. Uh, <laughs> th thank you, Indiana Jonestown. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Katie works out a lot um, because for her it's important that she can do anything that a man can, like, like beat her future wife. I have traps of a champion, I don't know what to tell you. Last joke. Last joke? Alright. So uh, Evelyn looks like she has a rewards punch card for the suicide hotline. <laughs> Yeah, three more punches and they'll pull the trigger for her. I, I think it would be really healing for society if Katie killed herself. <laughs> because then people would be like, oh, I guess Casey Anthony did feel a little bad. <laughs> Keep it going for them, everybody. Holy shit. Amazing. Two of the best. Get in the way here. Wow, that was, uh... I warned you it would be dark, dude. I fucking... I gave you the heads up, but seriously, I'm gonna do what they usually do. One more time for these animals, man. Keep it going. Awesome. Yes. So fucking great. Great work, both of you. I wanna start with Steph. What did you think? I'm a little pants, whatever, sexual for you guys. That was crazy. That was hot. That was really good. That was that was an, actually an insane battle. Uh, and really good jokes um, from both of you and rebuttals. Uh, but God damn it, Evelyn. God fucking damn it, Evelyn. The scissors next to your vagina. Like, God damn it, or whatever. The blades and the, and the beating future wives. Like... Yeah, I, I, Evelyn, you're insane. Katie, you were you were a killer too, but I'm giving it to Evelyn. Evelyn gets a vote. Give it up for her. Yes. Even though Katie looks like she bullied Evelyn into bulimia, which is kind of uncomfortable. I bullied her inside a crush. That's probably what it was. <laughs> uh, okay, Leah. Well, I feel like this beef originated from different sides of a cafeteria. <laughs> where like Katie was talking about what she was gonna wear to a football game and Evelyn was trying to kill birds with her eyes. <laughs> I mean, that was really close. I think like Katie, I loved your comebacks. I thought you were really on point with the comebacks, but Evelyn, you just get me, you're so creative. You're so creative, like I've never seen somebody roast like you, so I'm gonna give it to Evelyn. The very creative and scary Evelyn Troutman, everybody. She's gonna kill your birds. Bad, bad one. I don't know how to describe this. I think both of you feel like you're bassists <laughs> in like a rock band, you know? All right, fuck me. I, uh... <laughs> You guys ever see a rock band before? You, guys, you know what I mean? Don't right. mansplain rock bands, man. <laughs> We're on a concert stage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go kill myself after this. <laughs> I'm gonna give what they want you to do, battles. man! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Birdman. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna go kill myself. All right, well that was fun. I I think uh, I think Katie had better comebacks. I want to give it to Katie for the comebacks. Okay, Katie gets a vote. Give it up for two one. Claire. Yes, this was so freaking fun. Oh my gosh, so much great gay on stage right now. This was lovely. 
Um, and for me, I mean, I, this was so like with the rebuttals and everything, the kissing the father, the martial arts, the board, and then the progressive, uh, that progressive joke got me. So I give my vote to Evelyn. That means three for Evelyn. Evelyn wins the battle. Great job. I do want final thoughts from Kevin Kelly. You know who the real winners are tonight, Chris? Ooh. This great crowd here at the wow. Great Cinema Cafe. Pretty good. God, they're so sexy, too. Uh, I, honestly, I like that you guys are both, like, pro-suicide at the end. Yeah. No, you want to kill yourself. No, you want to kill yourself. Why don't you just do it? Why don't you just do it? I also like that Katie said she was bisexual so she can get more votes for prom queen somehow. That's what it felt like. Honestly, I'm giving it to Evelyn. This is absolutely fantastic. Give it up for both of them. Amazing job from our headliners. You guys are amazing. Now get the fuck out of here. Give it go for them, everybody. Uh, it got hot at the end. Isn't that great? There's a little dessert course at the end. Guys, this has been Rose Battle Chicago. How the fuck are you feeling, huh? This is the biggest show we've ever done, and I appreciate you all coming out. Give it up for our amazing panel, Leah K. Janian, Matt Bauer, Claire Parlette, Kevin the Irish Kellum, and Stephanie Robertson. Guys,